Today I want to talk about satellite internet access. Satellite internet is wireless internet beam down from satellites orbiting the earth. It is a lot of different from land-based internet services like cable or DSL, which transmit data through wires. Many people take DSL and cable internet access for granted, but these technologies are not offered everywhere. Many rural areas do not have cable internet access. For areas where cheaper broadband options are unavailable, a limited number of internet options are available. One of the primary options is internet via satellite. How does satellite internet work? Satellite internet works by using radio waves to communicate with satellites or within the earth. Data is sent and retrieved through a communication network that starts with your device or your computer and travels through your modem and go to satellite dish on your home out to a satellite in space then back to earth to ground station known as a network operation center or ISP and then data travels back to this network out to space and then back to your satellite dish on earth to deliver data on your device as you see, satellite internet uses a five-part relay system. HughesNet and Viasat are the two primary residential satellite internet providers. Recently, SpaceX has launched Starlink internet satellites with the intent of increasing the number of low-cost global broadband capabilities. Satellite access provides a viable internet access solution for those who cannot get other methods of broadband. Satellite internet offers an always-on connection with download speeds considerably faster than an old dial-up connection. Satellite internet access does have a few drawbacks, though, such as the cost and high latency. Latency is the time it takes for the signal to travel back and forth from the satellite. Although satellite internet is slower and costlier than DSL or cable, it offers some attractive features like it is portability internet. Wherever you go, you have internet access with new phone lines or other cables. For businesses with remote users and clients, the benefit is clear. But the technology has a far-reaching impact. It is not uncommon to see recreational vehicles with a satellite dish on the roof. They have 24-7 unlimited access to the internet as they travel. Many companies offer satellite internet services. These internet providers offer different internet packages that vary greatly in terms of price, access speeds, and service. Some target businesses, whereas others aim for the private market. Two different types of broadband internet satellite services are deployed. One-way and two-way systems. A one-way satellite system requires a satellite card and a satellite dish. Install it at the end user's site. This system works by sending outgoing requests on one link using a phone line. With inbound traffic returning on the satellite link. For example, in one-way satellite system, a user requests an internet connection to her ISP using a dial-up modem. The request runs our telephone network. The user will be granted access if the user is a registered subscriber. After the connection establishment, the user can do any internet activities, but any content that the user wants is delivered through a satellite. The ISP uses a dish antenna to transmit the internet content to a satellite transponder. 
The selenite transponder retransmits the received content to the user. The user must install a dish antenna to capture the content and a satellite receiver to tune into the right frequency and translate the content into standard format readable on her computer screen. The satellite only sends downstream in any traffic. Upstream traffic is served by the telephone network. A two-way satellite system, in contrast, both upstream and downstream internet traffic is carried over satellite links. Therefore, a dial-up modem is not required. Like a one-way system, a two-way system uses a satellite card and a satellite dish, and installed at the end-user site. Bidirectional communication occurs directly between the end user's node and the satellite. Home satellite systems are asymmetric, that is, download speeds are faster than upload speeds. A home satellite system is likely to use a modem for the uplink traffic, with download coming over the satellite link. The exact speeds you can expect with satellite internet depend on many factors. As with other wireless technologies, atmospheric conditions can significantly affect the performance of satellite internet access. One additional consideration for satellite internet is increased propagation time, how long it takes the signal to travel back and forth from the satellite. In networking terms, this time is long and therefore is an important consideration for business applications. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.